What's going on, my people? 2024 and a whole new season. I'm going to be keeping this season going as long as I possibly can. I've got so many different things going on and so many different boat projects that I cannot wait to bring you videos on. If there's something that you're looking to do or need help with the project, I implore you to reach out. Facebook or Instagram, I will respond. This year, we're going to be doing a lot of stuff with the kids. We're going to be doing a lot of boat projects with the kids, but we're also going to be traveling with the boat. We're going to be playing with the new high field. We're going to be exploring all new sorts of places, but at the end of it all, we're going to be doing what we do best, which is the projects. So, boat drinks for everyone, and cheers to you and the water. What's going on, guys? All right. So this week I'm in North Carolina. So this is now, I don't know, this is Sunday before I leave. I leave on August 2nd. So whatever this Sunday is before August 2nd. Here I am, there's my little rag I had up there. We, uh, we were sleeping on a boat last night. <coughs> my daughter, my wife and I took the boat out yesterday. I was all excited, my daughter was hanging out. She had some friends at Croton, so we took the dinghy and dropped her off and haven't seen her since. But whatever, she had fun, we had fun. Uh, went out and got some dinner last night, came back, actually slept here on, um, you know, like the main salon bed. I wasn't a big fan of this. You take this table, you put it right here, and then you put your cushions in. Kids generally sleep here. We're normally V-birth people, but man. I was not a fan of uh, of this little couch thing. So my back hurts a bit. Anyway, the wife went home this morning. I wanted to stay down here for a bit because I really haven't used the boat much this year. Between the sweltering heat and the, uh, the weather and then work, I've been hardly on here, so I want to get as much in as possible. Anyway, I have dinghy connected. Or actually, I just disconnected it, put the bridle away. By the way, if anyone wants to make a dinghy bridle, let me know. I will make a video on that. It is super, super, super easy and inexpensive. So, she was here all night. I just moved it over here. I'm going to give it a bath today. But I'm going to go for a rip. So, Bear Mountain is about 10 miles, maybe 12 miles north. And uh, she's all broken in now. So, I kind of want to give it a give it a rip a rooer and uh, go up there. All right, here we go. Let's get this 15 on the way. On the way, here we go. I'll get as much as I can. This thing gets a little hairy, but we'll see. All right, well, I gotta be honest, man. Doing YouTube videos is tough because I just want to listen to music, but we're hammered down. Um, I'm only at about quarter throttle. Uh, now, to be honest, you said I'm doing 23 miles an hour. We're coming up on some jet skiers here. I'm not doing Yep. All right. 
right. I'm going to turn this off and listen to some music. That was the last place I brought you, White Sand Beach. Uh, today we got a gypsum carrier in. It's a giant boat, man. Uh, they make a lot of gypsum there. So you get drywall. There's a lake up there called Hessian Lake. And after our troops, which is right there, you can basically see the lull. That's where the lake is. And that's where the fort is, where that building is. After they destroyed the Hessian soldiers, they dumped them all in the lake. 
Now that lake kills a lot of people every year. Um, tons of people die there because it's like a weird undertow. So they never found any bodies or anything, but that's apparently where they were dumped. So a lot of Revolutionary War stuff took place right here. Um, I'll take you over here. This used to be Strongman's Marina. We used to do a whole bunch of jet ski things there. We'd have huge campouts. There's another tunnel right there. And you used to be able to walk on top of it and the whole ground would shake and stuff. Kind of cool. There's another train over here, but there's Bear Mountain Bridge right under it. I gotta say, Highfield, this is this wasn't even an uncomfortable ride. This was a really lovely ride all the way up here. So pretty awesome. But let's go check out Strongman, see what they did with it. Um, yeah, it's a shame. It was a really cool marina, um, dilapidated, falling apart. But he would let all us jet skiers come in, build bonfires, have some fun. People driving over the bridge would see our fires and call the fire department. And it would get weird. Up there, up that creek, is Hellhole, um, one of the best swimming holes you've ever gone to. Highly illegal to be there, but so worth getting a ticket. But I'm gonna go check out Strongman's and then uh, probably start heading back. See some freedom boaters out here. Oh my god, Freedom Boat Club scares me. These people are out of control. So I'm gonna stay away from them over that way. But let's go see Strongman's. Look, it did it. It did it. We don't know why it did it, but through the code because I came off plane too fast. So now I have to kill the boat and then I'll just go ahead and restart it and it goes away. It's the weirdest thing, but ooh, the current is ripping right now. Um, so this is Strongman's Marina or what it used to be. And there was a building right here. You see the pilings and the bridge and basically Old man lived here, we would come up here, the ramp is down by that flag, um, and we would back our jet skis in, and we, we all had stand up, so we would just basically carry them into the water, and um, yeah, we would party up here, and just a giant, giant party, I know most of you guys don't like jet skiers, but a giant party of jet skiers just having a blast, and we would stay in this little nook and just have some fun, but um, this bothers me, I wonder, what I'm curious is, so you come off, Plane, and it throws that code could it be that it's sucking air bubbles right maybe this doesn't need a 15 inch shaft maybe it needs a long shaft because it feels like it sucks bubbles and then thinks it's overheating and the second you restart it you're fine and it's done it since day one so I have no idea but definitely strange so let's go back now this brings back so many memories sorry guys I know I'm trying to film a quick one but this is probably gonna be a long one now go back there's an old barge right there sticking out the water I'm gonna head back towards because the current's ripping watch this here neutral look at us we're moving it like four knots downstream she is flowing right now but it is beautiful up here if you guys ever come up the river you gotta hit it um, just around that bends West Point then you got Sugarloaf is it Sugarloaf no Cold Spring Cold Spring Harbor um, great spot, free uh, free docking, I believe. It's a private club, but you can go dock there. Around the bend from there, there's a beautiful beach. Be very careful, there are cables under the water. So if you dump your anchor in, it may be staying there forever. Uh, and it looks like we're like a mid-tide, if you look at the rocks right now. So, kind of cool. Oh, and then up there also is Bannerman's Island, about another 10 miles. Uh, an old castle in the middle of the river. I'm sure if you've watched anything about the Hudson, you've probably seen it. Not bad, not a bad view. I should actually stop and get a real photo. Not bad at all. And then I think there's some docks over here. Let's, I kind of want to go explore that, see if there's any docks that we can tie up to, so maybe we could come to Bear Mountain. But again, you're like 200 feet, and right where this shadow is, you're like four feet. Like uh, a little bit further. More up by that boat, so two feet deep. I might even trim her out on the way home. So Mercury has that lever right there. And you can uh, you can trim it out. Do whatever you want with it, bring it up. Get a couple more miles per hour, but honestly, there's no need. I feel like this motor overpowers this boat. There's no need to go you know, 39 miles an hour on a dinghy. But it's nice to know that you have the power, if need be, when you got a boatload of people. You know, with five people in this thing, you're good to go. With that full throttle, you're still gonna cruise like we are right now at quarter. So, not bad, but it is Bear Mountain. Here we go. They're fishing, so we're gonna leave them alone. Bait ball. There's the pier. It does get awfully shallow. 
shallow in here though. Alright, so now watch. If I come off of her, nice and slow, I shouldn't throw the... Oh, I threw the coat. I'm throwing the coat. Makes no sense. But now if we just restart it, it's gone. I don't know. Somebody, tell me what that is. I'm not a powerboat guy. I have no idea what that means. Is she overheating? Is there an oil issue? Oil's perfect. Um, oil's perfect. She's not pushing hot water. Um, feels nice and lukewarm to the touch, so it's, it's cooling. I don't know what that is, but it's only if I come off um, fast. And that wasn't even that fast, but this is the, also the spring I was talking about, watch. See how the motor reflects, but the boat doesn't really hammer hard, so cool design. Just why in the world? Oh, another Freedom Boat Cub. <laughs> but yeah, so Mercury, why is that happening? I don't get it. Tell me. Somebody tell me. <laughs> More Freedom Boat Club people. Oh, man. It's the worst thing that ever happened to boating. These guys have no idea what they're doing up here. I don't know if it's different in other areas, but <laughs> man, they're so dangerous. And they get right up on you. I've heard horror stories about them getting in and out of the marina, hitting boats. And again, might be different someplace else, but up here in the Hudson, man, Freedom Boat Club. <laughs> so bad. I'm going to show you a cool boat uh, wreck, and then we'll be uh, heading in. Probably get some fuel, about a half tank, and I do want to go to Croat. So. Definitely need a beer. I'm thirsty. And I need a battery, because my battery is almost dead. Here we go. So my battery is getting pretty weak, but check out this wreck. It's on the Hudson River, uh, just north of the Stony Point Battlefield. I believe it was a barge that was used to construct the original Tappan Zee Bridge. But yeah, this is uh, just north of Stony Point Battlefield. And here she is, lying in the water, been here forever, as long as I can remember. And I've been on this river since I've been, sheesh, super young. But I'm ripping this way. I'm actually trying to go straight, but I'm going sideways. Kind of cool. Uh, you can see the quadrant in the back still for steering. And unfortunately, people, this is where all the bodies wash up. Check that out. Pretty cool. That mast is still there. Not bad. Kind of neat. But this is where all the bodies actually wash up on the river. Um, because river comes down and then flows in a circle. I should probably go over there and find one, but I'm not in the mood to deal with the smell right now. Have you not thought about the smell? But also, this is Stony Point Battlefield right here, this whole peninsula. And um, there's a couple of oh, real big battles fought here. A lot of history down here on this river. Um, a lot of history. From Benedict Arnold to Andre to George Washington to battles to barges. Who knows? Anyway, my battery is kaput. So do me a favor, drop that like and subscribe on this thing. And I'm sorry I didn't have more boat work. I know a lot of you guys reached out last time and said it doesn't always gotta be you sanding and scraping. So I appreciate you guys all very, very much. Um, again, by when this comes out, I am in North Carolina or on my way home from there. So some beach time with the family, have some good times. Um, that's it, man. So like, subscribe, tell your friends, come on out. I might, if you are local, I might run a little uh, giveaway to see if we can get someone out on Artemis by the end of the summer, but it all depends on hurricane season, right? So that, and then I'm probably going to run a raffle, or not a raffle, a giveaway uh, for a compression post stub. Uh, I want to give one of those to somebody. I just got to figure out how I'm going to run it. And um, yeah, it's basically all we got coming at you. But again, high field today, high field, the Gen A. I'm going to go give her a UV bath. And I'm going to go have some fun. So cheers, peace, love, happiness, and we'll talk to you guys later.